couple more announcements. If you would, please remember we will have youth choir practice this evening, 515, once you be here, all of our youth choir will have youth choir practice. They'll be singing tonight, of course. And uh, so please remember that, youth choir practice. Also, I want to thank everybody for praying. I mentioned it Wednesday night. I was gone last Sunday. Uh, we were with our dear friend, Brother Sam Valini. And uh, we had a phenomenal, phenomenal time uh, there in Hit Night, North Carolina, which is right near Hickory, not too awful far from Statesville, North Carolina, right kind of more towards Statesville, but right, really right, right in between. Uh, he's got a phenomenal church. We had a great time Sunday morning, great time Sunday night. Appreciate the invite, and uh, they were very, very good to us, and uh, appreciate all your prayers. Thank you so much. We preached Sunday morning and Sunday night and uh, jumped in the truck. They start at 7 o'clock on Sunday night, and uh, so it was a little after 8, time we got out of there, time I got changed and grabbed a bite to eat. It was almost 10 o'clock that night before I left North Carolina. Got home about 2 a.m. almost, uh, about maybe quarter to 2, uh, and died. And, uh, but anyway, the Lord was very kind, very gracious, met with us both services, and so I am thankful. Uh, for your prayers. Thank you so much. And uh, but, well, I'm glad to be back in my spot. I, I mean, I like to go preach, but I'm glad to be in my spot. Uh, I am happy. I, I am happiest right here. And uh, like I said, pray for us. We've got several meetings booked. We're home uh, till mid-March. And uh, starting in mid-March, we, uh, we get busy again all the way through April. Uh, the last those seven weeks, I think we're booked five of them as of right now. And so if you would, please pray for us. The Lord would help us have mercy on us. I'm getting a lot older. It's a lot tougher uh, to to uh, travel those, uh, to, to do all that traveling. And so pray for us. And uh, I sure would appreciate it. Now, uh, this morning we're going to have a little singing. And uh, I want Miss Nicole, Miss Samantha, Miss Jessica, I want y'all to come. They're going to sing something for you. And we'll see what the Lord's got for us this morning. And uh, we'll go from there, all right? You're saying, what's the program? We ain't got one. And uh, we want to give the Lord the liberty to do uh, as he sees fit. And uh, so we're certainly going to try to get out of the way and uh, let the Lord have his will and his way. All right. Y'all good? Amen.
this morning that struggle is real. This morning the Bible says, man born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. As the sparks fly upward. And this morning, problems and burdens are a part of this life. But I'm glad I got somebody I can run to. Yeah. I'm casting all your care upon him, for he careth for me. You got burdens this morning. Won't you bring them to me? I like that verse. In the throne room of my Savior, yeah. I find sweet relief. That's a fact. You come talk to him, you can find relief. It may not solve the problem, it may not lift the burden, but you can find sweet relief. Talking to Jesus. From the top, ladies.
Moses, um, we went to that lady's meeting and we, there was this lady who was talking about how she lost her son in a car accident. And that made me think about your sermon about how short life is. And we're only going to be here first in our time. So we just really need to spend our lives praising him and giving everything to him. I thank the Lord for giving us a good week last week. You know, it was kind of a bit rough. But you just kind of wonder how the things happen. You know, you just expect it to happen. Like, not my wife broke her arm. You just, you go to the doctor, you know, surgery and all that stuff. It's just there. You know, you don't really understand where it came from. And it's provided. You, know, you think your insurance is tough to get it. You think your insurance is pretty good to get it. But you kind of got to go back to um, that the Lord provided all that. You know, and, um, and also, too, you know, you wonder how long it takes in your Christian life to actually kind of wonder why you still let the flesh kind of get a hold of you. And uh, when you try to read things out of your mind, you know, instead of just praying and seeking the Lord and just um, trying to treat people right. And, um, and I always, uh, I just wonder, I was praying, I said, Lord, how long do you struggle to keep going on? You know, everybody says, love your neighbor as yourself. You know, do one another as you do, as you would do unto uh, to them, as you would have it going to you. You just wonder how long do you kind of keep letting your um, your natural mind do the thinking for you instead of just kind of how the Lord said, you know, be still and know that I'm the Lord. You know, so but I do want to thank him. He's just taken care of us all through the years. You know, it always seems like instantly, you know, most things are provided for you. You know, thank you for that. And I want to thank the Lord for um, bearing our son's life this morning. Like he's coming back from the fire department, the car locked up, couldn't turn the steering wheel. And I love that the Bible says that all that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. He is a deliverer, he is yep. the way, he is the truth, yep. he is the life. And the Bible says that all that call on the name of the Lord, like every time we call on him, Yes. He hears his children. He yes. is a very present help yes. every time that we are in need. And I thank God that he yes. come to yes. and leave heaven, the yes. best place, to come to the broken place yes. so that we could be spared from the worst yes. place. I thank the Lord yes. for his grace, yes. his mercy, for his love, for his provision, yes. for his protection, for yes. being our strength when we're yes. weak, that we can boast sure. our weakness because the Lord Jesus is our strength that God is for us and He is for us. The Bible says that He is more than the entire world against yeah. us, that He yeah. does not lie and He does not fail. I yeah. thank the Lord this morning. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Preacher, I just want to <clears throat> say that I love the Lord and uh, He's been dealing with me lately. Uh, I recently uh, got out of the house and the Lord just been, I'm just thankful that I had a mom and daddy that loved me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they raised me right in church. Yeah. Yeah. Every, every chance they took me to church every Sunday morning, yeah. and every time the door was open. Yeah. I just thank for a mom and daddy that loved me yeah. and that taught me to love the Lord yeah. and that raised me right. Yeah. 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 You're a blessed young man. Yes, sir. Yeah, you got a mom and daddy that loved you and tried to make you do right. Yeah. Growing say, up, it seems like you get mad at them because they fuss at you and put rules on you. Right. You get a little older and you look back and you say, Thank God. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. God. Amen. Yeah. 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 This morning I've not had a lot to say. The main reason is I don't feel like the Lord has wants me to say anything. This morning I want to be very careful that I just try to be obedient and just do what the Lord says. This morning I can feel the Holy Ghost just bumping around this morning. He's, he wants to help sometimes. Can I be honest? He don't need me to help you. He's God. 
He is God forever showing up. He'll be God long after I'm gone. Yes. And he, one thing I love about the Lord, he never does it the same way twice. And uh, this morning, just, let, just, just be sensitive. If you feel like the Lord nudges you to testify, please do that. If you don't, then don't. But if you feel like the Lord's nudges you to say something, <coughs> you do that. And this morning, the Lord wants to help you. I know sometimes it gets, I mean, we have time and the Lord uh, 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 blows through here and Lord. people are crying and, and, and shouting and running aisles and, and getting in order. But you realize God sometimes speaks, that speaks in a still, right. small voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah just whispers to your soul. And I'll take it any way I can get it. Yeah. 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 I'll just be honest. If God wants me to make a lap around the building, I will. Right. But if God just wants to whisper to my soul, I'll take that. Anybody else this morning? That's what you think. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to say that God blesses me.
I'm going to have them sing the first verse again. And this morning, won't you slip out of your seat and come? Somebody take a King James Bible, see what you got to do to be saved. This morning, if the Lord was passing by my way, I would not uh, ignore it. I would not put it off. I'd deal with it this morning. Unless he, drift, unless he drifts away, and this be your last opportunity. So this morning, if you're here and you've never been saved, won't you come? Won't you come and trust Christ as you say? This morning, if you're here, maybe you just want to come and say, I love you, Lord. Thank you for all that you've done, all of this in heaven too. Amen. And this morning, I, I don't know, but I'm going to have them say. And uh, you do what the Lord tells you to do. And if you're here this morning, you're lost. Look at you see God. So now take a Bible. So what you got to do. So you can be born again. Have heaven as a home. Miss an eternity in hell. This one service might make the difference for the next 40 trillion years for somebody. And so this morning, if you need to come, would you come? Maybe you're, maybe you're not where you're supposed to. You say, I'm saved, but you're going to have to stay right. Maybe it's time for you as a prodigal to come home. Just come home. You spent enough time in a far country. And this morning, maybe it's time for you to come. With love and compassion, the Lord draws you unto himself. This morning, would you respond? I say so.
spot this morning. Man, this is where the Lord works and moves and helps His people. You need help, you come. this morning out of Genesis 19. I've been chomping at the bed for well over a week to preach it. And uh, I wanted to preach it this morning. But I wanted to preach it Wednesday night and the Lord wouldn't give me liberty. I wanted to preach it this morning, but we see that didn't work out. And uh, so we'll hang on to it. And uh, sometimes you ain't got to understand. Can I be honest? Oh, uh, understanding is, is not essential for obedience. You, ain't, you say, well, if I just understand. No, you don't have to understand. You just got to do what you told me. And uh, to be honest, I, I, the Lord tells me to do stuff all the time. I don't understand. But I've learned if I'll just be obedient, then the Lord grants understanding. Not before. Just do what the Lord tells you to do. And uh, I sure appreciate uh, the, the, His kindness and grace. This morning, if you're trying to live for God in the flesh, it'll work. You ain't never going to figure that out now. Never will. You ain't going to understand your Bible through the power of the flesh. You ain't going to understand what God's doing in your life through the power of the flesh. It must be, the Bible says this about itself. That book is spiritually discerned. That means the Holy Ghost has to illuminate it and light it up and open it up to you. This morning, you can't serve God in the power of the flesh. It's got to be done through the Spirit. You'll fail miserably if you try to serve God in the flesh. Anybody else this morning got something they want to say? Amen. All right, all hearts and minds clear. Amen. All right. Kind of like getting married, speaking now or for a moment. <laughs> amen. Appreciate that good singing. Say amen. 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 Let's all stand. Oliver kind of jumped the gun a little bit. <laughs> amen. 
He's leaving. <laughs> anyway, smile, it won't hurt you. And uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm glad that, that we have the liberty to be real. Yeah. Amen. I'm glad I ain't got to be a fake and try yes, to put on a show Amen. and try to act like I'm something that I ain't. Uh, and I appreciate that, man. That I, you know, that we got a church where, you know what, you can smile and laugh, it won't hurt you. I promise. And uh, that old dead, dried up, starchy religion, Lord have mercy. No wonder nobody wants that. Lord, I'm saved and I don't want that. And I appreciate the good God of heaven having mercy on us and helping us and giving us a good church. Thank God for it. And uh, this morning we're gonna we're gonna turn you loose. We're not done. We'll dismiss tonight, but we're not done. So we're just gonna kind of unhook right here. And uh, so in the spirit of the Lord, you're at liberty to go. See you tonight. Uh, Five fifteen choir practice, six o'clock service. <laughs>